Oregon is lined up for the opening kickoff. So here we go. Nice kick, plenty of distance. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. The quarterback leads the team out on the field for the first drive. Makes a catch and he's got nowhere to go. Caught it, but they're going to lose yards. He was tackled immediately. Number 66 takes him down for a loss behind the line at the 25 yard line. That brings up third and 10. He zips it. Tackle made around the 48-yard line. He didn't throw it away under pressure, and it really cost him. It sure did. He saw that he was going to get hit and just threw one up for grabs. He's got to learn to take the sack. First down, 10 to go. Ball on the 48. He might not be able to get the pass off. He gets sacked on the play. A defensive end with this kind of speed is an offense's worst nightmare. He's got the ability to collapse the pocket on any given pass play. And as a play caller, you constantly have to be aware of it. Whether you're going to roll away from him, or you're going to chip with a tight end or a running back, you're constantly concerned and aware of a big, strong defensive end. Complete right down, nothing to it. Receiver flew down the field on that touchdown connection. Well, he has the speed to stretch the defense, and his hands are getting better every single game. He splits the uprights with the extra point. So a short three-play, 53-yard drive, and that's good for a touchdown. So our score... 7-0. And it looks like they're ready for the kickoff. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. The Ducks are right where they want to be early in this one, partner. Well, this is what their coach talked about, getting off to a great start. The defense did their job, and it's nice to see the offense move the ball down the field and also get some points on the board. The quarterback threw an interception on their last drive. Let's see if they can be more successful here. Well, they're already playing from behind the eight ball, but they have plenty of time to get back in this thing. Fires on quickly to the tailback. That is a loss of two yards. That'll bring up second and 12. From their own 23-yard line, it's second down. You can't block me. You can't block me. There's a strike complete. They gained five yards there. Not a bad play. They gained five yards out of it and keep moving the defense back. That makes it third and seven. Lineman. Once the ball hits the ground, it's a matter of luck and will. And on that play, it was the defensive end who crowded for his side. Let's find out if the defense has made any adjustments after giving up a touchdown on that last drive. So much of the passing game is about the timing between the quarterback and his wide receiver. Right now with this offense, they are in sync, and really the timing and execution is flawless. Oregon is up by a touchdown. And he 
tackles him hard at the three-yard line. Hey, it's a, it's a first down for this offense that keeps everybody enthusiastic. You can see the momentum that this offense is gaining. The coaches and the players on the sideline are fired up, and hey, it's a new set of downs. Picks up a yard. Boy, the senior linebacker's experience really showed on that run. He sniffed it out perfectly and made the tackle. Yep, he punched that in from a short distance. He had great blocking up front on that play. And he adds the extra point. Everyone's all lined up and ready for the kickoff. Excellent kick. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. Oregon's defense is playing lights out right now and pitching a shutout. Yeah, I would not be shocked at all to see this defense be able to maintain this. I, I just the way they're playing, the attitude that they seem to be playing with, if they can maintain the energy and the awareness of this offense, there's a very good shot that they could shut this offense out. Slings it out there incomplete. Sure, it's disappointing, but this is the kind of mechanical flaw you can fix with practice and coaching. That makes it second and ten. It's second and ten. Ball on the 25-yard line. That's a great tackle at the 15-yard line. Hold a loss of 10 yards. That'll bring up third and long. field in the gun with five wide receivers. Halfback's got it on the quick throw. Brought down at about the 47 yard line. That makes it second and six. They come out in a five wide set. Goes downtown. They'll bring him down at the 10. Throws to the tight end, and that ball's incomplete. Second down, 10 yards to go. 10 yards to the end zone. Slings it quickly to his halfback again. this quarterback and wide receiver were very confident they'd be able to execute this play. They worked all week long in practice on this play. The problem is the wide receiver got too close to the boundary, just didn't give himself or the quarterback's throw much of a chance to make the reception. After reviewing the play, the ruling on the field is reversed. So the call on the field will be reversed. And he hits the PAT. So that's a seven-play, 64-yard drive. And they get it in for seven. I think the thing, Brad, that I'm seeing is the quarterback's taking advantage of some one-on-one -on -one opportunities on the outside for some big plays for this offense. They line up to kick this one away. 
And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. The offense will be hoping they can move the ball as well as they did on their last drive. Oregon, up seven points. Scrambling around. He's to the 40. He's tackled at the 42. A good quarterback knows when and how to improvise. And if he's got the skills, he can also turn a scramble into something big. Still pretty close. 14 7, Oregon. Welcome back here. We resume action now here in the second quarter. Three down, three down. I got one, I got one, I got one. Ready, ready, ready. And he's tackled around the 43 yard line. You talk about a dual threat guy, this guy can hurt you in the air or on the ground. And they push him out at the 39. That brings him second and five. He's at the 30, and down he goes at the 26-yard line. He makes it out to maybe the 23-yard line. That makes it second and six. Oregon is up seven. Motion, motion, motion. He has some room. Inside the 10. Big play, and it's first and goal. They go with the option and pick up the first down. Yeah, and that was a situation where the quarterback knew he could pick up the first down if he kept it himself. That's a good decision. Quick strike, and it's caught for the touchdown. Tight end for six on that one. As a quarterback, you like to tie it in inside the 10-yard line because they have a knack for finding the opening, and then you can just drill it in there. He makes the PAT. It was an eight-play, 76-yard drive, and they add seven points to the scoreboard. And the big plays that they had running the football were the keys to that drive. The kicker looks like he's ready to kick this one off. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. It was a pretty one-sided first quarter, but I wouldn't be surprised if things changed in a big way before halftime. Completes it, but he can't shake the defense. He's at the 
40. Quick throw, and he's got his receiver again. He might have a chance. They go to the left for a nice game. They're about four yards away here on second down. Watch number 12. Watch number 12. Three. 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 And he's taken down around the 22-yard line. Steps out the 19 yard line. Plan. It looks like it was a pretty smart move, too. And he tacks on the extra point. A 10-play, 74-yard drive, and a touchdown as a result. Fred, I thought the offense did a really nice job of mixing up the play calling on that drive. I thought the defense was on its heels most of the drive because of the versatility of the offense. The score now, 21-14. In a game that's this close, you can't afford to waste possessions. Oregon is up a score. Takes it up the middle for a nice run. That's good to have a lot of your and they'll bring him down behind the line. From their own 27-yard line, third down. Six yards on that completion. You get six yards, and that makes picking up a first down very reasonable. So it's second down now, and they need about four yards to pick up the first. He's going to try and scramble. And he hits him hard at the 29. They'll get the first down. He made the correct decision to tuck it and go. tries to buy some time, and he's going to be sacked for a loss. Boy, Brad, that was a big hit on the quarterback. We're going to be interested to see how he responds from this hit and whether or not he comes after his offensive lineman and challenges them to start playing a little bit better. They find themselves in a hole here after that sack. It's second and long. Oregon is up by a touchdown. And that run got stuck. Yeah, you're right. The defense definitely won the battle with the line of scrimmage there. And this is the eighth play of the drive. Right, right, right. 
They'll spread the field here. Let's see what the defense does with a five wide outlook. And they bring him down for a sack on the play. He just blew past the blockers and dragged the quarterback down. Boy, excellent play by the defense here. A few extra seconds, and those receivers might have been open. Fourth and long here after the sack. Big kick here to try to pin the offense deep in their own territory. will be a touchback. Now, I think this defense right now needs somebody to try to lift up their spirits. They seem to really be just out there kind of going through the motions. And I think the last time they were out there when they gave up such a long drive has had an impact and an effect negatively on the psyche of this defense. First and 10. Ball on the 33-yard line. Go. Throws it deep. Intercepted. It's the junior corner. Big play there by the defense. That's their second pick of the half. Yeah, this offense has to stop making mistakes. These turnovers are putting pressure on their defense to make stops, and it's hard to win when you're always giving the ball away. First down, 10 to go. Ball on the 20. Oregon up seven points. Makes it to the 31. That's the end of the half, and believe it or not, folks, it's still anyone's ball game. 21-14, Oregon. Hi, everybody. Glad to have you with us on the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Bruce Davis, David Pollock here in the studio, as always, to lend a little perspective to what just went down in the first 30 minutes. What a terrific first half. This is everything we anticipated this game being. And we're going to be riveted to this game, I feel like, David, in the second half, anticipating a terrific finish. It's it's fun. It's, it's, it's living up to the hype every single time. We can't even turn the channel here. We got it on the big screen, on the big 60-inch. Yes, it's quite nice, by the way, too. The weather's nice and warm. It's beautiful. Got some chips. We're opening them up a little bit. But great game, living up to the hype. It definitely feels like both teams are evenly matched. It feels like it can go either way. It feels like it's going to come down to the wire. And the only thing I hope it doesn't come down to is a kicker. Please don't come down to a kick in the end. Both these teams playing great D, playing great O, you know, physical, you know, pounding on each other, making big plays. Don't come down to a finesse kick by like a, a soccer player, please. I can only hope that Nestler and Herb Street will bring the same type of intensity to their call of the second half that David and I brought to the halftime show. Of course, they always do. That's it for us here in the studio. Time to get you back out to the guys for the second half. All right, Reese and David, welcome back, everybody. Just about set to start the second half. He really got a hold of that kick. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. And here we go with the offense, ready to get things going again. Oregon is up seven. There's a strike complete. He's down. Room around the corner. He's to the 40. <laughs> He's taken down at the 35. That's a game of 36 on the ball. First down. And they make the stop at about the 17-yard line. 
That's a game of the team. That makes it first and ten. ten. The 10, the 5. What a play to set him up with a first and goal. That's a game of 15 on that play. That makes it first and goal. Brought down just outside the goal line. Touchdown, Ducks. I think the option down by the goal line is a great call. It puts so much pressure on the defense and it allows the quarterback to have the decision to run it or pitch it. And this time it worked to perfection. And he converts the extra point. A six play, 75 yard drive, and it's good for seven points. Looks like they're ready for the kick. He kicks it off and he got all of that one. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. There's got to be some sense of urgency to this offense right now. They don't have the luxury of wasting drives if they want to get back in the game. Under pressure. And he throws it away. Brad, I just think this quarterback's got to do a much better job of being able to read that defense and make quicker decisions. And especially when the defense starts to get pressure, you've got to either get rid of that football or check it down or take off and run with it. They'll bring him down to the 33-yard line. Out of bounds at about the 35. <laughs> Certainly, they don't have the return on here. He puts it away, and it's a great kick. Oregon's built on their halftime lead here in the third quarter, Kirk. Well, I think they've done a really good job of finding some matchups to their advantage, and they've just gone after this defense, and it's allowed them to put up some points on the board. They did a great job on their last drive, moving the ball down the field for a touchdown. Let's see if they can duplicate that on this drive. As long as this quarterback has time to throw, then you can guarantee that he'll find the open man. He's scrambling. He's tackled at the 42-yard line. First down. Ready! Easy, easy, easy! Buffalo, Buffalo! He's pushed out of bounds. Right around the 44-yard line. That'll make it second and second. Mike's 13, Mike's 13. He's coming, he's coming. Check him. Let's go, defense. Our time. It's our time. Ready? Easy, easy, easy. Rally! 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 Here's the throw. I don't think he got anything on that. He's on the run, and he's tackled right around the 50. Three, maybe four yards on the scramble. And it's the offense that takes the field on fourth down. Nice run up the middle. 
First, First down. down. He's scrambling, runs with it, and he's got room. And down he goes at the 39. Call it again in five yards. That brings him second and five. Gains his way to the 30-yard line. Gain of nine on the play. That makes it first and ten. Down. 51, Mike. Mike 51. Ready. Fires out to his receiver. Tackled for a loss. Takes him down for a loss behind the line, the 34-yard line. That makes it second and 14. It's second down now, and 14 to go. Ball on the 34. And he makes it out to about the 34-yard line. And he's going to come up with a sack. That makes it worth the The sack makes this a fourth and very long. He'll try to knock this punt down inside the 20. And this one is a beauty. So this one goes into the end zone, and that'll be a touchback. Their last drive broke down, and they punted. What do they have in store this time out? Down two possessions. This offense has to step up and capitalize on this possession. Scrambling around. Tackle at about the 23-yard line. That's good for a game of three yards. That'll make it second and seven. That's a great tackle at the 25. Game of two yards. That'll make it third and five. That's three down and one to go. Oregon's lead is two touchdowns. Welcome back to the action here as we resume play here in quarter number four. They've got the lead, and they come up with a big stop, and it looks like they're going to get the football back. Oh, excellent punt. There's a fumble recovered by the offense. The defense was ready to come back on the field, but now they'll get the rest a little bit longer. The last time this offense had the ball, it was three and out. Go. I think he's got a good rhythm going right now with his wide receivers. He hit him for a nice game. Pulls it in, and he's in the open field. Nice pickup as they connect on the pass play. Well, they look to be in sync right now. They're both reading the defense properly, and the result is a nice game. And he's taken down around the 11 yard line. Around an eight yard pickup on the slant route from the quarterback. Pass number three. The one thing this quarterback does a nice job of is taking what the defense gives him. He's always looking for the open target. Oh, 
He splits the uprights with the extra point. Washington State gets set to kick this one away. He just drills this one. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. Well, I'm sure the offense will be looking to avoid the turnover that ended their last drive. You don't change your philosophy after one play. They'll be out doing the same thing as before, just with better awareness. And he's level at the 24. From their own 24-yard line, it's second down. Oregon is up a score. He scrambled. Now he's going to run and watch out. Tackle made at the 36. That's good for a game of 12 yards. First down. Makes it out to about the 50. Makes the tackle. Let's go to the 14 on the way. First down. Ready! Easy, easy, easy! easy. Rally! Shift, shift. Rally! Billy! Pass incomplete. Trying to get it to his receiver. It's second and 10. Ball on the 50. Just gets rid of it. Good job here by the defense. If you let this quarterback set and throw, he'll kill you all game. But they got excellent pressure on that play. The defense has got some of their best pass defenders on the field. They set up in the dime to counter that five wide receiver set. Pass complete and taken down immediately. Teams realize that when the ball is snapped, we're one play away from a very different ball game. Less than three minutes in the game. Zips it to the back. And they got him for a loss. Loss of a yard. Not much going on there. Those kind of plays will not work against this defense. You can be sure of that. We've got a second and 11. Ball on their own 19. Hey, we go Mike to 48 right now. Let's go. Watch, watch go. the slap. Watch the slap. And he hits him hard at the 35 yard line. Goes quick to the receiver and it falls incomplete. From their own 35-yard line, it's second down. Quick throw out to the receiver. He's taken down right around the 46-yard line. Tries to buy 
buy some time. He's at the 30. And they make the stop right around the 24-yard line. Just under two minutes in the game. And a quick throw. Touchdown, Washington State. There's a Here's the PAT to tie this thing up. Looks like they didn't get the playoff Play quick game. enough. Offense. Offense. Defense. Defense. Less than two minutes in the fourth quarter. He makes the PAT. Washington State is lining up to kick this one off. And he got all this one great kick this one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback for Washington State they've been getting into the backfield quite a bit this defense has had success getting after the quarterback after a tight battle for over 58 minutes we're still looking at more drama we might have overtime in the back of our minds, but down on the field, that hasn't occurred to anyone. They want to end this thing in regulation. He steps out around the 27-yard line. They go to the air and pick up a couple. This was just a little dump-off pass to the halfback, but it was very well defended, keeping them from moving the ball very far downfield. Hey, Incomplete, and that wasn't the greatest pass in the world. Well, I don't know how anybody can throw a great pass while getting drilled like that. It's third down, eight to go. Ball on the 27. Big opening. Well, you can see the elation on the defensive coordinator's side of things, and why not? His defense just came up with one of the biggest stops of the game in a vital spot in this fourth quarter. The punting team's got to give their kickers some time. He gets it away, and this is a really nice punt. Out of bounds at the 23. Late here in the fourth quarter now in a tie football game, and it looks like, barring another score, we might be headed to overtime. Just over a minute left. Pulls down the catch, and he's got room here. Brought down around the 37-yard line.
37 yard line. From the 37 yard line. Second down. Empty backfield. Quarterback in the gun. Five wide receivers. He's at the 20. And he's caught. To the 10. Touchdown. Huge play. And he converts the extra point. They line up to kick this one away. He really got a hold of that kick. And it sails out of the end zone for a touchback. The Ducks coaching staff and the entire team knows that this is the guy that can win it for them. And the offense has to find a way to get the football into the hands of this running back, whether it's a, a simple toss sweep or maybe a ball out of the backfield where he can catch it in space. Any way that they can get the football to him to see if he can spring one to maybe get the field goal range or who knows, maybe take it to the house. He's tackled around the 41-yard line. Oregon's going to use their first time out of the half here. It's first and ten. Ball on the 41. Under a minute left in the game. Pressure and brought down. They've really thrown the quarterback's rhythm off and rattled his confidence with such a relentless pass rush. He's not himself out there at all today. Fires to the wideout, first down. That makes it first and ten. Easy, easy, easy. He's going to try and scramble. And he's tackled the 39 yard line. That'll make it second and seven. The spike will stop the clock. That makes it third and seven. Third down again. For all of you watching, it's been a great game, and it has a chance to be even greater. Will the prayer be answered? It's time for the Hail Mary. He goes downtown. And the ball game's over, and our final score in this one, Washington State 35, Oregon 28. That's it for this presentation of NCAA Football 14. For Kirk Herbstreet, I'm Brad Nessler saying thanks, and we'll see you soon.